Hello, everybody. I lived on the West Coast a long time now. Living on the West Coast can be interesting. I was down at the writer's strike today um, picketing. I'm not in the union. I just want people to think I once had a job. <laughs> people drive by like, is that Patrick? He must have been on a staff somewhere, whatever. <laughs> Unfortunately, I read, though, that there has not been a lot of progress in negotiations between the studio and the union, which is weird because I've been honking every time. So I don't know what, <laughs> what's going on. <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't get very political, but I want to ask you guys, um, do you think Joe Biden is going to run again? Not for president, just run again. Do you think he'll run? <laughs> you think he can do it? <laughs> I want to know, like a jog, a light. I saw on the news, Joe Biden hits the campaign trails. Like, trail, dirt, rocks, careful. I don't care if you like him or don't. Every time he reaches for, like, the stairs, you go, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Grab a rail. Grab a rail. He's like all of our old grandpa when he reaches for something on a high shelf. We're going, whoa, whoa, help him. Help him. My aunt yells at us, help him. Give him a hand. Got to be careful. Careful with that man. You know, I told you I don't get political, but I have noticed this. You know, I have noticed that women have made a tremendous impact in the workforce over the years. I have seen it firsthand, and I know because the last three women I dated told me they had to focus on their careers. <laughs> I was like, wow, I've been going out with career women this whole time. I thought I was just dating waitresses and Home Depot employees. They were moguls. I have a girlfriend now, and it's going pretty well. We've been eating outside a lot. I don't even fight it anymore when my girlfriend asks, where do you want to eat tonight? I go, outside. It's a good choice. <laughs> it is tough, though. It's going well, but it is difficult, even in 2023, because we are a, a mixed-race couple. I am Hispanic. She shops at Trader Joe's. It's society's not ready <laughs> for it. We struggle. We really struggle. Before I had a girlfriend, though, I was on all the dating apps, to, you know, I would actually read all the profiles on there. Some people would just skip through it. I would read every single one. And I would read on there that a lot of women would write that they are sapiosexual. I had never heard that term before, sapiosexual. So I looked it up, and I found out someone who's sapiosexual is someone who's attracted to intelligence. And I kept reading, and it said, if you have to look this up, you ain't it. <laughs> like, damn. Man. I am not sapiosexual. <laughs> I told that story a few times, and then someone said, hey, you know, Patrick, you know it's not pronounced sapiosexual, right? It's actually pronounced sapiosexual. It's like, oh, great, I'm dumb twice in this story? <laughs> what is the term for someone who's attracted to a renter? I have to buy these. I'm going to order the salmon. I've got to win them back and show them. You know, I grew up, I grew up in, a, in a religious family. I don't know anyone else grew up religious. You know, I grew up in a religious family. I grew up Catholic, um, or as it's known in the Bible, Hispanic. <laughs> I, I will hear a lot of people say this sometimes. They'll say, like, hey, you know, I grew up religious. I'm not anymore, though. I'm not anymore, though, which is always just a nice way of saying they don't talk to their parents anymore. <laughs> <laughs> My mom is the one in my family who is very religious, still very religious. I have a kind of mom who, every time I go home to visit, she has a new crucifix up on the wall. <laughs> my mom is that one. She puts them all up. To my mom, crucifixes are building code by her. She's like, we need drywall, insulation, crucifix. Put it there. Put it there. That's a load-bearing crucifix right there. Put it there. <laughs> right there in the corner. My mom will take down a smoke detector if it means she can get a crucifix up there. <laughs> One time, a smoke detector was low on batteries, and it made the little beeping sound. She's like, oh, get it down. It's possessed. Get it out of here. Get a crucifix up there. We've got to make this house safe again. Get it up there. I've got to pray for my son. He's dating a lot of career women. 